Welcome to our channel. We are dedicated to providing information and education on the subject of black magic. We understand that this topic can be controversial and that many people have misconceptions about what black magic is and what it can do. Our goal is to provide accurate and balanced information on the subject, as well as to explore the cultural and historical context in which it is practiced. On our channel, you will find a wide variety of content related to black magic, including explanations of different forms of magic, such as curses and hexes, voodoo, divination, and other practices. We will also discuss the potential consequences of practicing black magic, both for the individual performing the spell and for the person it is directed against. We will also explore other topics related to black magic, such as hoodoo, which is often associated with black magic, but it can be a form of folk magic or as a way to bring about positive change. We want to make it clear that we do not promote or condone the practice of black magic. Instead, we hope to provide a balanced and informative perspective on the subject and to help our viewers make informed decisions about whether or not to engage with this type of magic. We encourage our viewers to be skeptical of individuals or organizations that claim to offer services related to black magic, such as removing curses or hexes. Many of these claims are fraudulent and may be used to exploit vulnerable individuals for financial gain. We will also provide information on alternative ways to achieve one's goals and solve problems such as therapy, counseling, or even just talking to a trusted friend or family member. Black magic, also known as dark magic or black sorcery, is a type of magic that is used for evil or selfish purposes. It is often associated with death, destruction, and harm, and is used to manipulate or control others. The origins of black magic can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where it was often used for nefarious purposes such as controlling the weather, causing harm to enemies, and even raising the dead. In many cultures, it was believed that black magic could be used to summon demons or evil spirits, and that these entities could be controlled and commanded to do the sorcerer's bidding. This idea of black magic being associated with evil spirits and demons is often depicted in popular media, books, and movies. However, it's important to note that the depiction of black magic in popular media is often sensationalized and not reflective of its true nature. One of the most common forms of black magic is the use of curses and hexes. A curse is a spell that is intended to cause harm or relegation to an individual or group, while a hex is a type of curse that is directed towards a specific person. Curses and hexes can be used for a variety of purposes, such as causing illness, financial ruin, or even death. These spells are often performed through verbal incantations, rituals, and the use of specific materials such as herbs, oils, and candles. Another form of black magic is the use of voodoo or hoodoo. Voodoo is an African-based religion that incorporates elements of magic and spirit worship, while hoodoo is a form of folk magic that originated in the southern United States. Both voodoo and hoodoo often involve the use of doles or other effigies, which are believed to represent the target of the spell and can be used to cause harm or control their actions. These practices have been heavily stigmatized and misunderstood in modern times and have been associated with black magic. Divination is also a common aspect of black magic. This can include practices such as tarot reading, scrying, divination using a reflective surface, and necromancy, communicating with the dead. Some people believe that these practices can be used to gain insight into the future or to receive guidance from spirits or other supernatural entities. However, many people believe that divination is a neutral practice and can be used for both good and evil purposes. Black magic is also associated with certain rituals and ceremonies. These rituals can be used for a variety of purposes, such as summoning spirits or demons, cursing enemies, or even attempting to raise the dead. Some of these rituals can be quite complex and may involve the use of specific materials or symbols, as well as chanting or other forms of verbal incantation. However, it is important to note that many rituals that are associated with black magic are not inherently evil, 
but are rather culturally specific practices that have been stigmatized as such. Another aspect of black magic is the use of potions and talismans. These can be used for a variety of purposes, such as love potions to make someone fall in love with you, or healing potions to cure illnesses. Talismans are also often used in black magic. They are objects that are believed to have magical powers and can be used to protect against negative energy or to attract good luck. The use of potions and talismans is often seen as a more benign form of black magic as it is not directly harmful to others. Black magic can also be used to control or manipulate others through mind control or manipulation. This can include practices such as hypnosis, brainwashing, or the use of spells or charms that are intended to control the thoughts and actions of others. This type of black magic is often used for personal gain or to exploit others and can have serious consequences for both the person performing the spell as well as the person it is directed against. It can cause emotional and physical harm and can lead to a spiral of negative energy that can be difficult to break. It is important to note that many people who practice black magic do not see themselves as evil or malevolent. They may believe that they are using their powers for good or that they are using black magic to right a wrong or to protect themselves or their loved ones. However, regardless of the intentions of the practitioner, black magic can have serious consequences for both the person performing the spell as well as the person it is directed against. It can cause emotional and physical harm and can lead to a spiral of negative energy that can be difficult to break. It is also important to note that there are many other more positive and constructive ways to achieve one's goals and to solve problems. Instead of resorting to black magic, it is important to consider other options such as therapy, counseling, or even just talking to a trusted friend or family member. In recent times, many people have become interested in the practice of magic, including both white magic and black magic. However, it is important to remember that the use of black magic is not something to be taken lightly. It should not be attempted by those who do not have a thorough understanding of the consequences and potential dangers involved. And it is also important to remember that there are many other more positive and constructive ways to achieve one's goals and to solve problems. We hope that you will continue to explore this topic and other related subjects with us. Thank you for watching and we look forward to your continued engagement with our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave your comments.